Okay guys, I wanted to share the inside setup for my outdoor wood boiler, and I mainly want to focus on the domestic water side of things. Uh, the radiant was the simplest to set up. Uh, the heat exchanger for the air handler, that was pretty easy to set up. A little bit more work on the uh, thermostat. I guess finding the right thermostat maybe was the biggest challenge, but uh, I, I really want to get some feedback on my piping. Uh, the water is coming in on the far right side and the first thing it's hitting is the domestic water and i've seen a lot of people comment and i've seen some videos that say that you do not need a recirculator on the domestic side and that just the thermal siphon will work and this pump right here before the plate exchanger would basically just continuously be on um, I, it feels like you're going to lose quite a bit of heat uh, with that pump continuously running. Uh, maybe not, but uh, the other issue that I saw in a lot of those setups is uh, for the thermal siphon, there would have to be some kind of a recirculating line that would allow the water to cycle. So my system has a uh, pump and a mixing valve. And I just wanted to kind of share that and maybe get a little bit of additional feedback. The wiring is still a little bit sloppy because I feel like I may continue to tweak this and, and make some changes. So uh, the way that this system works, uh, we're, we have a check valve first and then we have a four gallon thermal expansion tank. Now this is connecting the cold and the hot and there's a spring check valve. So the water can flow up and over, uh, but it cannot feed back through in that direction. And so that is in order to have the loop and that's what heats the water inside the tank when nobody is using water at all. And so the incoming cold water actually comes, snakes through here down to the bottom of this plate exchanger, comes out into the mixing valve. Now, the cold supply for the mixing valve is actually coming from the bottom of the tank. And the thing that I did to make sure that that's gonna work correctly is I shortened the fill tube on the water heater by about 18 inches. I also increased the hole on the fill tube and directed that hole right at my temp control. Temp control is set to kick on at 120 and off at 130. This will provide continuous hot water and it's been working really well. Uh, the only question I had with the Radiant is the additive uh, has possibly stained the lines. I can't get that to clear out even though they are flowing and it is working, uh, but curious if anybody else has had that problem. So uh, let me know if you guys have any feedback. Uh, would love to hear your thoughts.